we are going to create poems using chat gpt let's meet up after this intro hi how are you doing today hope everything is going on well yeah today we are going to see this new app called chat gpt it's an amazing app from microsoft it's really a game changer it has changed a lot it has changed many things in this field of technology uh, it has changed the way we do office work and it has changed uh, a lot of the things we do like side hustles it has changed a lot of many things so let's dive in without wasting any time and see how we can use it to do different tasks uh, with this chat gpt we just give it commands just like those of you who remember the ms dos where i used to give task you give a prompt then it gives you an answer the same here unlike google where you type in and it, it, the, when you type in, in with google it gives you several results you go on checking one by one but with this one we just write here a prompt or we write here what we want and it will just give us an answer within a few seconds it will just give us an answer and normally normally with the answers it gives uh, they are straight and correct though you although as you know machines are same like humans they both can make mistakes so you can really verify yeah you can recheck whatever it gives you but most of the times it's on point most of the times it's on point yeah right now i have given it a task to write a poem uh, using symbolism and figurative language let's see what it can give us as you can see it's writing right now it's writing yeah even you can stop it you can say like stop here then it will stop if i'm not satisfied with this poem i can just tell it to write it again or rephrase or i can tell it to use passive words or use uh, active words i can just give it any prompt it will be writing what i want I can just because for it's a machine it never gets tired so I can keep on asking it to write different stuff so right now I'm asking it to suggest a title when it suggests a title if I'm not satisfied with this kind of title I can just let it to rewrite the title again now you can see it's a wonderful title and again if I need more variations I just let it to write more you just type whatever you type it, that's what it gives you you can see it has given I mean, different titles i can just choose the title i want then i just copy everything and i put in my google docs or microsoft docs i just i just copy everything as it is and i take it to microsoft word or i can take it to google docs yeah as you can see i just come here yeah control v it comes over here everything already done by chat gpt so i can just read this and i add just where i don't want anything i am not satisfied with i can just adjust it uh well with this chat gpt you can do a lot a lot of tasks it's all about your imagination that limits you but as long as you can imagine anything you just give the prompt to the machine it will do it for you immediately yeah now today i'm just uh, i just thought of poems yeah just you know 
I'm really a person who loves poetry a lot. So today I just wanted to explore some poems. I'm just uh, giving prompts to ChatGPT and I'm posting them here in Microsoft Word. Though even if you want, you can just use Google Docs. You paste them in Google Docs. It will be the same as Microsoft. Yeah, as you can see this poem, it's a very wonderful poem. It's a very wonderful poem. Even I can add just... I can tell ChatGPT to rewrite this same poem using Shakespeare, uh, using Shakespeare style. Let me see. <laughs> this is not the spelling of Shakespeare. Let me check over here. Yeah, I got it here. Yeah, this is the right one for Shakespeare. So I press my ChatGPT here. Uh, after pressing, uh, you can see it's typing it's typing a poem it's rephrasing the same poem but in a style of shakespeare you know shakespeare style though art though me <laughs> yeah thy pain the, though like you know uh, there are some people who really enjoy that kind of writing so you can be able to explore this even you see these poems these poems i'm trying to generate with chat gpt you can sell them out. You can sell them uh, physically if you want. You can compile your poems. You sell them to different bookshops. Sh book or even if you want, uh, you can be able to sell these poems. Uh, you can sell the poems online. There are different platforms like Udemy. Uh, there is Amazon. Uh, there is Coursera. You can sell these poems online. Yeah, still you get some money. You get some side money. Yes, you can get some passive income through selling some of these works. You just you just draft your poems here. You you compile everything together like you one by one depending on the topics you want. You can just give the chat GPT a prompt about love poem, political poem, a poem for unification. Uh, you can use different elements of literature like somber. You can say, you can say like write uh, a somber poem, or having an aggressive attitude, or like uh, you can say a mood. I want a calm mood. You can say use personification, uh, use a figurative language. You can say write a poem using parables. It's like you can use a lot of those uh, elements or devices of literature to compile a poem. So me being like a lot, <laughs> I love poetry a lot and uh, uh, that's why I, I first made this video of poetry. But there is a lot you can do with ChatGPT and uh, in the next video I'll be showing you other things uh, you can do with ChatGPT. I just didn't want to make this video long. That's why I, I concentrated on, on poetry. But in the next video, you're going to see other things which we can do with ChatGPT. Don't miss out. Don't miss out with technology. You know, with technology, uh, when the trend comes and you miss out, later you regret when everyone has, has caught up with it and you are still far behind. So... Don't be conservative. Let's let's just jump on into the technology and see how we can embed it in our uh, normal life. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see, it's a very wonderful poem. A very wonderful poem. And uh, <laughs> those of you who really enjoy this Shakespeare style, you can enjoy the poem. You can see the message in it. You can see the theme is a bit uh, strong and it's portrayed throughout the poem. So uh, I really like this. And uh, uh, with the chat GPT, uh, <laughs> this is a really game changer. Thank you so much for watching. We meet up in the next video. Bye-bye.